Welcome. Today we'll be going over the uh, contest for the memorable moments top 10, etc. for uh, Bryce Hoff. And we will be uh, doing this for all the lovely people out there who entered. So, going in order of submission, uh, we'll, we'll, from when we've officially got the video to the end of it, we'll go through one at a time. And each video was rated on three, uh, three different uh, qualities, or, quant or attributes. Attributes is the word. The first one was quality of uh, the video and the audio and, uh, you know, what you did with it. Uh, the second was uh, clip choices, you know, how, what I felt, you know, were they really funny clips and uh, things of that nature. And then variety, you know, the variety of games and, uh, and you know, just the different types of laughs and things you picked. All right. So first up, we have 7,000 bullets. And 7,000 bullets had, uh, unfortunately, sort of already did what I did with the swear reel. Uh, he did include some uh, swears that I skipped, which were nice, but ultimately, it's a video I more or less made already and was not exactly what I was looking for, because if you recall, I said not to go with I want to be the guy exclusively in the, uh, in the video setting it up. So, for him, he got a total score of 9, getting quality of 4, because the quality of the video was quite good, with very few glitches in it. The uh, clip choices, they were good. I mean, he... He definitely did what he set out to do, so he gets a four there as well. Unfortunately, for for variety, you're only getting a one because you just did. I want to be the guy, so you finish with a score of nine out of fifteen. Next up, we have King Cool 2099. Now, King Cool 2099 obviously is very experienced with video editing. He uh, he got a five for quality and a five for clip choices and four and a half for variety. He got a fourteen and a half out of fifteen. Great editing, um, great choices. His number one choice was surprising to me, as I never would have thought it would be something from Bubble Bobble, but uh, it was well chosen and he backed it up. So all in all, just a great, great video. Thanks a lot, King Cool, uh, for entering, and I appreciate it. Next up after King Cool, we have SignFan9. SignFan9, uh, some solid choices here, a lot of good stuff. And uh, something that I don't think he necessarily intended, he can answer this better than I can, I'm sure, but... Um, in one of the clips right at the end, you can hear Jessica swearing in the background, and that just really, really made me laugh. I thought that was great. Uh, he gets a four and a half for quality, and uh, clip choices, a five, top-notch stuff. And variety, you went all over the map, and you covered a lot of older and new stuff, so you get a five for that. So you score a 14 and a half out of 15. Um, in particular, something that really tickled my funny bone and gave you probably that extra half point was how you structured it kind of after how I do my talk throughs, where you use the black background with the red lettering, and then you even did a, a credit scroll that was like my credit scroll, and you threw a bit of rush in there. I mean, just just amusing stuff. The, a nice take on things that was really, really awesome. So thanks a lot, man. And finally, we have Dark Zazi. I'm not sure how to say his name, but we'll go with Dark Zazi. Um, he did a real smash up. He did it just a, like a literal brain dump of uh, as many clips as he could think of, nine and a half minutes. Uh, I did see him grouping stuff though. Uh, he actually uh, was grouping uh, certain things, like he had like the triangle hats together. He had a bunch of penguin jokes that I made together. He even had pedophile jokes that I made together, and he just generally flowed everything together. He didn't he didn't lay it out with like segmented sections, but it was quite good at what he did. Uh, unfortunately, his video quality was a little lacking. Whatever he used to record it was having green flashes, so he only gets a three and a half for that one. Uh, clip choices, top notch, man. You get a you get a four and a half, and uh, for variety you get a four. So I mean, you finished with a twelve out of fifteen, a very respectable score. But what helped you was just a little more organization, and uh, giving uh, just just giving it a little more structure. I mean, I again I could see the structure there upon viewing it a few times, but the first time it just looked like a complete smash up. And also, um, after you you had it up initially and took it down, the second version was a lot better. I think you changed around a bit and you also added a bit, so it, it really worked out nice. So, what does that mean for the price of tea in China? Well, that means that 7,000 bullets finished up with a respectable 9 out of 15, ranking in uh, at 3rd. Dark Z finished up at second with a 12 out of 15, a very good score, well done. And then we have a, a tie. We have a tie for SignFan9 and King Cool 2099. So what does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things. 
Actually, it only means one thing. It means I'm just going to have to give a DVD to both of them. So thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, all four of you, for entering. It's really appreciated. Anyone else out there who wants to uh, do more videos like that in the future, I'd love to see them. It's always interesting to see what other people think are my are the best moments I have for my talk throughs. I have my own favorite moments that I do and stuff that I love, stuff that I plan out, stuff that just happens. But it's always nice to see what tickles other people's funny bones. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. So until next time, I'm Brian Salfer. Keep your stick on the ice.